I was looking for a bolt when I had it the whole time. And there goes 20 minutes of my time I'll never get back. What's going on YouTube? Today I'm going to be uh, prepping my transmission to get it bolted back to my uh, engine. Um, I'm going to go through the parts that I used and I'm going to go through how I measured everything to make sure that my clearances between the throw bearing and clutch are all correct. So um, I'm just going to dive right into that and we can uh, figure it out. Um, the uh, slave and throwout bearing it's from an F body it's just an OE you know GM part um, one thing I am doing is I am running all AN lines for everything so this fitting here you need an adapter um, so I got this from Speedway Motorsports this one's kind of expensive it's about $31 um, I also got a dash four line and then I also got um, adapters for the master cylinder. So these will screw into the master cylinder and convert everything to dash four. Um, the slave cylinder and throw up bearing I got from Tick Performance and then I also got their, their quick speed bleeder which is going to help it a ton. And then I also got I also got a shim kit for all this stuff just to make sure that you know if I need it I have it I don't want to put something on and then realize I have to wait another week to do everything because I'm waiting on parts uh, piece of cake when you got arms like this so with this uh, sleigh cylinder um, you got to take this off to put your speed bleeder on. It's a 7 16 wrench. And then uh, you got your little fitting here. And it comes with comes with a copper crush washer. Make sure that goes in between the fitting and the actual slave cylinder. The way they package it was between the fitting and line, which is you're not supposed to do, but they specify that, all that stuff. So this fitting was it's a 14 millimeter. get it on there pretty snug um, if it leaks you can always tighten it but that's gonna be pretty simple for I wonder if actually yeah so I'm probably gonna wanna you can't see that I'm probably gonna want to install the line on before I actually get the slave cylinder on but now I'm gonna check the clearance from the throw out bearing to the uh, bell housing. So one thing you want to do when you put a new slave and clutch on or throw out bearing and slave and clutch, you want to measure the, the distance of this face of the throw out bearing to the little fingers in that clutch. So how you do that is you measure these fingers to the block and you measure the face of the throwout bearing to the bell housing and then you do the math and then that should be your uh, measurement so I'm using the tick performance LS7 clutch with this and I'm also using the F body uh, throwout bearing and um, slave cylinder and they specify between 125 thousandths and 200 thousandths so I mean you could twist the throwout bearing um, pop the spring off put it back in there and it's got to be fully depressed um, take your straight edge and using the caliper And then you get your measurement. I'm gonna double check it one more time just to make sure. Struggle bus.
and then we're going to write that down. I'm not going to measure the, the clutch to the block because I already did that. Um, I already did that uh, when I took the motor out of the car. So um, I'm going to get these numbers written down. I'm going to do the math and I'm going to see if I need a shim. Okay, so I, uh, I measured everything that I needed to measure. And with the throwout bearing compressed without the spring, I'm... Uh, 3.581 from the the bell housing or block and then my clutch fingers from the block are 3.256 you know if you do the math you got 0.325 and so that's out of the clearance that's specified by the people I bought the clutch from so I need to add um, one of these I need to add this shim the largest one it's 0.184 and that'll bring us bring our clearance to 0.141 so that's pretty much where we need to be on that it's kind of in the middle um i don't know if i'm gonna add another one to kind of space it closer to 125 thousandths but uh we'll see i just gotta i'll sleep on it and see how i feel but that's how you kind of do that and shim everything for your uh, throwout bearing so that's gonna be pretty much it for now um i got my uh i got all my stuff figured out and I got everything ready to go. I'm not gonna bolt it, the transmission to the motor yet. I'm just gonna wait until I'm kind of ready to get that in the car. But uh, the only thing I have left to do to figure out my clutch and stuff is to get all the lines ran and get everything where I want to do that. But I'll do that when I'm actually putting the motor and trans back in the car. But for now, I'll see you on the next one.